remember this day very clearly and very vivid. As soon as I walked through the doors, I saw her, and we made that special eye contact. I fell in love with her immediately. Who is she, you may say? My dog, Princess. <laughs> According to the ASPCA, approximately 7.6 million animals enter animal shelters, 3.9 million being dogs and 3.4 million being cats. Today, I'm telling you not to buy a pet, but to adopt one. <clears throat> Today, I'll be talking about mill shelters, euthanization, and uh, the benefits of adopting an animal. So let's get into my first main point. What is a mill shelter? A mill shelter is where they breed animals. The most famous type of mill shelter are puppy mills. Puppy mills um, are mill shelters where they keep uh, dogs and they are usually overcrowded with unsanitary spaces and uh, they don't have enough food or water or staff in, uh, in order to um, to take care of all the dogs that are in need. Uh, puppy mills, uh, they gain profit by breeding all the female dogs uh, at any time given. Puppy mill puppies usually take, are usually sold within eight weeks old and online or in person to anyone. <clears throat> the dogs in these puppy mills are kept in cage Cage, uh, and wired cage fences and uh, they are usually overcrowded and they hurt their legs and paws. The female dogs are bred day in and day out and um, when they can no longer breathe or they're too old, they are killed. Puppy mill puppies suffer from diseases such as um, heart disease and also suffer from blood and respiratory uh, diseases. Um, According to animal ethics, there are 10,000 mill shelters that are not authorized by the state. So now that you know that there are more than 10,000 mill shelters that are not authorized by the state, let's talk about euthanization in animal shelters. According to the American Veterinary Foundation, uh, euthanization is considered good death. People usually uh, euthanize their pets because they are, either, they are either too old or sick, which is understandable. But most people do it because of the overcrowdedness in animal shelters. Euthanization is when they inject your pet and within six to 12 seconds, they are slept. Some, uh, according to the uh, American, uh, American, According to the American Humane Society, 64% of animal shelters, 64% of animals that enter animal shelters are euthanized because they are either because it's overcrowded and also because they are either sick, ill, or uh, they're just too aggressive. 64% of dogs are euthanized and 71% of cats are euthanized. More cats are are euthanized because. They, are, they enter the animal shelters homeless and because they don't have any owner identification. Now that you know the devastating facts about euthanization in animal shelters, I will talk to you about the benefits of adopting an animal. <clears throat> adopting an animal will not only help the animal, but it'll also help the person who adopts. Some people may say that animal shelters are good for the animals because they won't be in the streets homeless or, or finding, trying to find a, a place to shelter themselves or also just trying to find food. <laughs> so um, some people may say that animal shelters are good, but in reality, Animal shelters are getting overcrowded and there isn't enough staff or supplies to, to accommodate all the animals that are in these animal shelters. Um, caring for an animal can provide a, a sense of fulfillment and purpose and it also reduces the, the risk of, of loneliness, stress, and depression in all age groups. According to American Health Society, here are some benefits on why you guys should adopt an animal. 
When you adopt an animal, you reduce the rate of euthanization. Uh, the, the animals that are in animal shelters, they're, they're not bad animals. They're usually there because of the owner or because they are found in the streets. Uh, another benefit of adopting an animal is when you adopt an animal, um, they, they usually come spayed or neutered. They have their first vaccines and at times have microchips, which is a great deal. And also when you adopt, an animal you get bragging rights because to be honest how many of you guys know of someone who has adopted an animal raise your hand not very much you see so when you adopt an animal you can post a, your selfie on Instagram or something saying that you adopted an animal which is pretty cool um, <clears throat> when you adopt an animal uh, it, it's also a way to stop puppy mills so when you, when you buy an animal online or in person those animals usually come from puppy mills, where, uh, which is pretty bad. Um, many of the animals that are, are adopted are already house trained, so you don't have to worry about training them yourselves. And finally, because you guys care about the environment, when you adopt an animal, it is as if you're recycling. When you adopt an animal that was previously owned, or even a new one, it's as if you're giving it new life and new meaning. There are plenty of other benefits on why you guys should adopt an animal, and you don't necessarily have to adopt an animal in order to save one. You guys could donate as well. I hope I persuaded all of you by providing facts and benefits of adopting. <clears throat> I spoke about mill shelter, euthanization, and the benefits of adopting an animal. Now, you, each of you guys has a, has a little paper on your desk. I want you guys to flip it over. Now that, is a smile that you can save and keep in this world if you adopt an animal. Thank you.